Okay, good morning and welcome to All In Mishnah, All In, All In Mishnah, All In Mishnah, you're all in on this Mishnah, so we're going to learn a little more in depth of the Mishnah Yomi. Today's Mishnah Yomi, All In Mishnah, is focused on Shviya's Parak Aleph, Mishnah Vav. It says, Halacha Eser Natiyos, Mbuzaros, Besoch, Besoch, Horshon, Kol Besoch, Beshvila, and Ad Rosh Hashanah. This is Allah Lamosh Mishnah, which is mentioned, you see in Mishnah Sukkah, Mishnah Tainus, it's mentioned many times. Um, Esther Natios is Allah Moshe Messina. Now, Allah Moshe Messina normally means that there's no reason for it. It's a concept that Moshe Rabbeinu got at Har Sina. We, we don't have any idea what's the reason behind it. There's no Sephora behind it. Moshe Rabbeinu gives it to Klal Yisrael at Har Sina, and this is the way we follow. As opposed to 10 grown trees, right, uh, which you can only plow, according to Rabbi Kiva's opinion, until Atzeres, until Shavuos in the sixth year. If there's t- ten young trees, you can even plow them until Rosh Hashanah, up until Aleph, Rosh Hashanah, Aleph uh, Tishrei of the, the year of Shemitah, which obviously you can't plant plow during that year. Plant during that year. Why is there a het there? There's no to have a shvius by this. Why is there no to have a shvius? So I as I mentioned before, Talmud Rishon Sinai. But if you look into Pharisee Israel, he brings it in brackets over here. Um, and before the brackets, actually, in Os Chav Ches, letter Chav Ches, Velo Gozru Behuk Beshar Yilanos, the Menehen Rachin of Sodom Kshaliyach Rishom. He said, because they're such, they're saplings, and they're, they can, they're so soft, and they, they, their growth can be stunted so easily, if you don't plow them all the way to Rosh Hashanah, you're going to ruin them. So he says in brackets, Kach Nerli Otmum Diver Rabbeinu Rashi, Tiniest daf gimel. The only time a lachal moshin. How could it be? It's giving a reason for a lachal moshin. See, lachal moshin doesn't have a reason, right? The halacha is lachal moshin. If they're young sap, like that's it. The halacha is you can plow them until Rosh Hashanah. There's no tzav shvius. So what he's saying, because the reason is, is because they're going to be they're going to be uprooted. They're going to be destroyed. They're, they're, they need all the benefits, all the plowing they can get in order to be beneficial for them. I'd like to say this is dependent on what we were talking about yesterday. What is the get there? What is the way of understanding this concept of Sosef Shviyas, of adding on to Shemitah uh, during, according to Rabbi Akiva, Sosef Shemitah, the Kharish is talking about, Kharish of Katsir, Kharish is talking about Kharish of Shishis, and Katsir is on Katsir of Shminis, to add on to Shemitah. So, I mentioned yesterday, is the Isser exactly just an extension of the halachas of Shemitah? Just seventh year, whatever halachas apply during Shemitah, apply during seventh Shemitah also. It's the exact same halachas. The, is to, the aim is not to work the land during those years. The land has to lay fallow, lay fallow, not just the seventh year, but also extending from the end of the sixth year and extending into the beginning of the eighth year. Or um, is it nothing to do with that? It's just, um, it's not the same. It's just an extension of the Isser. It's not a... It's not a hamshach or an extension of the Isra of Shemitah. It's not making it longer. It's a totally different, the Isra of Shemitah is a different get there, a different organization, a different understanding than Shemitah. It's the year of Shemitah itself. The year of Shemitah is not allowed to work the land because the Shabbat Aretz has to lay fallow. It has to give rest to it, just like you give rest to people during the seventh year. The land also lays fallow during the seventh year. So the Isra of Shemitah is dependent on the fact that um, it looks like... Um, Close to Shemitah, it looks like you're preparing the land. It looks like uh, people are going to think it's a mistake that people are going to make if they see you planting close to Shemitah. They're going to think, "Oh, this person is going to plant during Shemitah." Also, or it looks like you're doing it for Shemitah itself. It might come, it's like zero. You might come to do it during Shemitah itself. What's the nafkamin? The nafkamin is how you understand. Uh, meaning, that's the question the the Tverish Yisrael asks. He says, "How can you give a reason to have a Shemitah?" No, if you understand that. It makes sense that Tzav Shvius is an extension of the Shemitah itself. So therefore, we already know by Shemitah itself. The Gemara Moikatan says in a couple of places, and the Gemara Moikatan and Sukkah says that as long as you're doing it, you're allowed to work the land in Shemitah. You're allowed to do certain things during Shemitah, certain avodas akarka, as long as it's not to grow things, but just so that there shouldn't be aved like davar aved. It shouldn't be nifsa. It shouldn't be destroyed. Right, you're allowed to cut out weeds, so therefore, uh, so therefore things don't get destroyed. So therefore, we already know that shemitah. So therefore, we know the reason by shemitah that you're allowed to do it, so that it shouldn't be aveda, it shouldn't be something lost. So therefore, ex- by ex- by extension, right, the tosef shemitah also esher natiyos has to be also, even though it's halach moshe mitzinai, but it's the same rule as shemitah itself. So therefore, it's davar aved over here. Is esher natiyos 
are rachi and they're soft. So that's the reason you can plant it in the shmita. You can you can do it in the shmita because otherwise they'll be lost. They'll be nifsat, be hefsed. But if you learn, know that it's just a gzera that people might mistake to, uh, sixth year for the seventh year. So therefore, there's no. It's a totally different iser than shmita. So therefore, it doesn't make any sense to give it a reason. Has nothing to do with our reason. We don't know why Hazal didn't make Xera by Esther Natios. We don't know the reason. That would explain the Machlokas. Hope you enjoy. See you tomorrow. Bye.